Uh, there was a popular soft trans YouTuber who spoke out explaining the issue of the fact that whilst the joke clearly caused harm, what's even worse than this is the way how everyone is responding, is trivialising, is ignoring uh, the feelings and thoughts of trans people who have expressed their pain. Yeah, I got a hell of a video for y'all today. Th this shit is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not going to waste any time getting into this bullshit. We're going to get right into the content and we're going to roast this motherfucker, okay? Okay, just fuck you, Ollie, because again, this is not Ollie's first show. This is not the first time he's called something like that, and that's fair. There were also people who have like, okay, I know you're a good ally, but please, can you remove this tweet? This isn't good. Can you please understand why this is hurting to us? There was a full range of reaction here, and all of it was just being dismissed as woke scold, uh, you know, Twitter mob. That's what this shit's over. Can y'all fucking believe that? This shit's over a fucking tweet. Like, literally, y'all understand that there's a lot of real world issues, and that's like more so what I'm like focused on. There's a lot of people that are actually transphobic and have like hateful, like bad intentions in their heart. It's absolutely ridiculous to be putting this much attention on some tweet that Vash made that you haven't even shown. You haven't even said what the fucking transphobic joke that he made was. I highly doubt it was transphobic, but even if it was, there's bigger fish to fry. Like, there's a lot bigger fucking issues in this world. When trans women are getting fucking murdered, like, because they're trans women and shit, and, like, just abuse all over the world, like, are you serious? We're gonna sit here and talk about Twitter and how Vash hasn't deleted a tweet that you're offended by? I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck because I'm worried about bigger issues. I want actual fucking change. Um, I just realized I haven't explained what a soft trans is. Uh, soft trans is a label that I've only seen applied by cis people on the outside to refer to trans people who handle cis people with kitty gloves. Um, the same people would probably refer to me as a hard trans because my main objective here, uh, as we say every day when we like so every fortnight when we start the show, is uh, to create a space that's inclusive for trans people to show their full range of like human expression. Um, you know, I'm a lot less about building bridges. I'm more about equipping trans people with the tools they need to stand up for themselves and giving them a space that they can come to and vent in. Uh, I mean, that's great. You can make a space for them to come and there's a fucking space, but then when they go on the real world, they're gonna get fucking killed because you're spitting this stupid rhetoric that doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, I live in a real world where we work through problems and we actually work as like humanity and shit, right? Like, I'm not a fucking asshole. Like, a soft trans to me sounds like a person who's reasonable. Like, there's a difference when someone does something transphobic, that's a chance to educate. That's a chance to say, hey, that was transphobic and that's not cool. That hurt people let's do this instead like people like this will be like oh that person's a transphobe and that person's a piece of shit like that person could never be a good person like yeah there might be some people like that but like you clearly don't want unity you just want to fucking be validated constantly like this shit's ridiculous and this shit's childish and you're fucking privileged i could tell you have not been through no type of struggle if this is your mindset and this is the way that you think what you're doing is putting the trans community back this does not help us progress we need to integrate into society and shit needs to be normalized and it involves building fucking bridges with cis people so fuck you seven tweets that i just read out to you according to Vorsch, are uh, apparently the tweets of the cancel culture, woke scold, over offended sensitivity baby mob. Yeah, you're a little bitch. I'm, I'm gonna be blunt about it. I'm, I'm not always a nice person. I'm a nice person. I'm a caring person. But when someone like you doesn't understand optics and it has this terrible rhetoric that actually holds the tran trans community back, yeah, fuck you. You're being a little bitch and you're making this shit harder for us to make meaningful change. Y'all woke skulls on the internet, y'all not doing no good. You, you are not actually progressing anything. You're not progressives. You just whine and complain on the internet. You know, I'm here to advocate for people to respect everyone love everyone doesn't matter if you're trans black fat skinny whatever it may be gay straight bi pound like i'm trying to speak those voices into the world you know what i mean and i'm willing to work with people and talk to people and try to change people's minds but i can't take this shit this is literally the type of fucking person that talks a bunch of shit and then when someone hits them they're gonna put their hands up and look around like oh what the fuck motherfucker this is life giving me uh like flashbacks to anyone who doesn't know 
I kind of like sucked as a person before I met Ethel. I used to unironically watch Vosh and he was very big on this idea of you shouldn't get too offended. You have to be able to deal with people being edgy. Yeah, 100%. This is exactly how life is. You have to understand the difference between a person being edgy versus like actual transphobia and actual hate. Like there's a big difference and focusing on like someone just being edgy is a waste of effort because it's a person who most likely already supports trans people, already understands like the science of trans people and they think that's valid. When there's people out there who actually fucking hate trans people, it doesn't make any sense to focus on this. If someone's an ally, fucking they're an ally and they're going to fucking help us but people don't want to become our allies when this is what how we treat our allies like you're gonna look back and you're not gonna have any fucking friends like no one's gonna stay around you if you act this way so yeah you maybe should get a little less fucking offended about shit on the internet that doesn't matter and get more offended about shit that actually matters and then make meaningful changes to change his position from talking to us that's just, just not going to happen that's the thing people Vosh is an abuser and and also like I don't think either of us really want to talk to him because he has a habit of uh, defending. Uh, I'm not sure if I should say it's not in the. Yeah, <laughs> it's just he has a habit of defending pedophilia. Neither of us want to talk to him. No. And this shit fucking sent me all like for real this shit fucking sent me y'all motherfuckers need to stop calling people abusive or abusers on the fucking internet like I actually fucking like commented and we talked about this I was like don't fucking call him a goddamn abuser like literally that is so insane there's no way you'd be able to tell that and this stupid fuck is trying to tell me trying to tell me that he's abusive to his fan base how the fuck can you abuse a fan base that's absolutely insane like like it's not a relationship you're not fucking married to Vash. And also, like, it's funny that you say he's always defending pedophilia, but where's the fucking clip? Also, where's that joke? The original joke that's so fucking transphobic. Y'all have no argument. Y'all just whine like a bunch of little bitches, and that's why you're not gonna go and talk to Vash, because he would fucking destroy you. You literally aren't even showing any proof in this video. I am so sent from this shit. Y'all are pussies. Anyways, I know I got really fucking hype in this video. This shit just had me angry and I had to say some real quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go relax and be with my boyfriend. Anyways, peace out bitches. Have a good one. The difference between trans women and women. Mm, yeah, and there's- wait, there's a difference between black women and white women, but they're both women, aren't they? So, trans women and cis women are, like, different in some respects. They're both equally women. There's a- There's a difference between tall and short women, big booby and little booby and no booby woman, black and white woman, but they are all women all the same. Cis woman and, and trans woman, woman curly hair woman and straight hair woman, they are all women all the same. I agree, yes. Huh? What is, what is a woman, though? What is a woman? Anyone who identifies as a woman. A man with a penis is also just the same as a woman. No, they would have to identify as a woman, in which case they would stop being a man. Women can have penises, women can have beards, women can have big fucking dick. However big your dick is, women dick, three times as big. Every last one of them. 